Fire protection is often difficult to provide in rural areas of Oklahoma. The nearest fire department is usually several miles away, making response time a real challenge. Once firefighters arrive, an adequate water supply is the main concern. Fire can engulf a structure or spread uncontrolled through grasslands in a matter of minutes, so the proximity of the water supply is a critical factor. Frequent and lengthy trips to replenish water can mean the difference between controlled damage and total destruction. A dry hydrant system is the answer to many of the problems associated with rural fire protection. As illustrated in this cross-section graphic, a dry hydrant involves a simple, non-pressurized pipe system to draft water from an existing lake, pond, or stream. This permanent system provides access to a year-round water supply. It improves firefighting capabilities, reduces the costs of fuel and operation, and ultimately helps save lives and property. Site selection for a dry hydrant system requires careful consideration. Needs include a water supply that remains adequate during drought, a location accessible during all weather conditions, an access road at least 12 feet in width with a sustained maximum grade of 8%, proper drainage and erosion control measures. Contact your local fire department, conservation district, rural fire coordinator, or area resource conservation and development office for more information and installation assistance. The necessary materials for dry hydrant construction include about 50 to 70 feet of six or eight inch PVC pipe, one elbow, a strainer, and a head assembly adaptable to local fire department standards. Usually the head assembly involves a four to six inch coupling. The PVC glue or adhesive should specify for a large diameter pipe. A pipe support is necessary to stabilize the strainer end of the pipe. Installation is usually a cooperative effort that includes the use of county commission equipment so an agreement between the landowner and the county is necessary for installation and maintenance. The local fire department can supervise installation of the dry hydrant, which begins with the use of a backhoe to dig a trench. The trench should be at least four feet deep to avoid freezing during the winter. Maintain an even depth to ensure the pipe will rest level. While the trench is being dug, the pipe connections should be measured and assembled using the PVC adhesive for large diameter pipe. Pipe ends should be cleaned of debris and marked for proper seating depth before the adhesive is applied. Apply the glue uniformly to both ends of the connecting pipes. Allow at least 30 minutes for a good bond. The vertical pipe on the dry hydrant should be about six to eight feet so that once it's placed in the trench it will stand about two feet above the ground. For an accurate measurement wait until the pipe is placed in the trench. Use a crew to place the pipe in the trench. The pipe will fill with water and slowly submerge. At this point the objective is to stabilize the draft end of the pipe and keep it off the bottom of the pond, lake or stream by setting it on an underwater support. Once in the trench, a backhoe bucket of clean gravel should be placed around the lower elbow to prevent creep and stabilize the vertical pipe during backfilling. If the head assembly has not been placed on the top end of the vertical pipe, the open pipe should be covered. Following backfilling, spread sod mulch or resod the area to protect the site from erosion. In a few weeks, the soil around the hydrant will settle and testing can begin. It is very important for the fire department to ensure the unit is drafting water effectively. Add protective barriers and necessary identification signs and paint the exposed pipe to protect it from the sun. The price of the materials used to assemble a dry hydrant will vary between $300 and $500, a small price to pay for the peace of mind and positive insurance rate impact that this kind of fire protection can offer. The low-cost, practical technology of dry hydrant systems can make them beneficial to entire communities. 
Their simple design and reliability are making them the wave of the future for rural fire protection. Find out more about a dry hydrant system today. Thank you.